guys so today I am going to make some sorrel and this is the ginger I grater the ginger because I like my ginger to be greater and then so, this is the sorrel um, we call it sorrel in Jamaica um, some places call it Jamaica flower and um, that it is pot boiling I have a big pot boiling over here and I'm going to boil my water up and um, once it start I'm going to put my ginger in and once it start boiling up then I put my sorrel in and then I turn it off and let it sit overnight Jamaica it's like called like um, sorrel it's like almost like wine and we use this most time in around Christmas time so we could plant it and around this time of the year around towards Christmas we reap it and we make sorrel what I'm gonna add in there also after it's all done I'm gonna put some mix it up with sugar and I also will mix it up, put some Jamaican white rum in there also. Hey guys, I put my ginger in and you could see how it is right now. I'm going to cover it and let it boil for a little bit. Also, I will be putting some pimento in there. And I mean, I put it in. I don't know if everyone does it, but I put it in because I like the flavor. And on hand, so I'll be using clove a little bit. Um, I want the ginger to be strong, so I let it boil. So I put the sorrel in the pot and it turns red. So it's the color of the sorrel should be red. And I let it boil up for like another five minutes and then I'm going to turn it off and let it sit overnight. Guys, look at my sorrel bubbling. So, this is my sorrel after sitting for 24 hours. Um, I let it set for 24 hours, and this is how it looks. I am now going to um, strain it, and um, I'm going to sweeten it, and drink some so this is the strainer and a new pot that I am going to strain the sorrel in I also have sugar I'm going to use about two cups of sugar and I am also going to put about a quarter cup of white rum to give it more flavor so after I strain it with a strainer this is what the final outcome is um, as you can see it's not as much as when I started so now I am going to add some um, sugar in there and I'm just going to use probably two cups of sugar and just a little tip of white rum 
So now I added two cups of sugar to the sorrel and I am stirring it pretty good so it dissolved the sugar and once you know it's dissolved then I'm going to add about quarter cup of white rum and um, stir it some more so that you know that will give you flavor and make the sorrel very tasty so I'm continuing stirring it for just a little bit more to make sure all the sugar you know is dissolved in the sorrel and after I finish that um, I'm going to let it sit for maybe about five more minutes I'm gonna cover it and let it sit there for five more minutes and after that it will be time to bottle it So the final product, the sorrel, I already um, bottled it and it is um, going to sit there for like, you could keep it as long as you want it to be and um, enjoy it. It could stay for like about um, six months, three to six months. And um, you could put some ice in there and when you're ready to drink it. So I'm pouring some sorrel in my glass and I'm going to taste it for the first time. So here I go. Please like and subscribe.